This is John Cola with DiscountJuicers.com to do another exciting episode for you. And in this episode, I'm going to show with you guys once and for all how to deep clean your juicer, even blender craft, or other kitchen gadget or appliance. Now, the first thing I want to say is if you guys do appreciate my videos and I have helped you to get your juicer clean or to select the right juicer or vacuum blender for your purpose, I would encourage you guys to support me and make your purchase at DiscountJuicers.com. This allows me to continue to make these educational episodes that literally big box stores would never in their right mind do. Because here's the thing, I want you guys to be able to eat healthy. Eating healthy and including more fresh fruits and vegetables through juicing and vacuum blending is the best way to get them into you, in my personal opinion, so we can maximize their nutritional content and even eat more of them than we would normally be able to. Juicing and dietary changes literally saved my life and that's why I'm so passionate about this topic and if you want me to continue to make these videos, please support me in my work by making your purchase at DiscountJuicers.com. Uh, we only ship to the USA but it is greatly appreciated and I know you guys would do the same thing for me if you've helped me out too. All right, so on with this episode. So the first thing to get your juicer sparkling clean uh, when you're done juicing is my tips are number one, clean right after you're done. Don't even take a sip of your juice. <laughs> clean your juicer right after you're done juicing. If you let the juicer sit, then the stains will set in, things will dry, things will get harder to clean. That is not a good idea. If you absolutely cannot clean it immediately after you're done juicing, then minimally soak it in a tub of water with dish soap. Very important. you got to include the dish soap. That being said, after every time I use a juicer, pretty much immediately, with very few exceptions, I clean the machine. So this is my favorite juicer top set, the Omega VSJ 84. And you can see it's getting a little bit cloudy. You know, the, the plastic isn't as clear as it used to be. You know, there's a few stains on the auger, like some grime built into the auger. And the main thing is a juicing screen, right? My juicing screen is quite clean because I cleaned after every use. But you guys can see there's definitely some mineral deposits, pretty hardcore mineral deposits on there that are turning it brown, looks unsightly. Now, you know, these are purely cosmetic. Your juicer will work properly, even if it has a little bit of staining like this. The most important thing is that you want to look it up, look at it through the, into the, through the light and make sure all the, all the holes are actually open because if there's a... Uh, pulp clogging those holes then that is an issue and that will reduce your yields. Um, so the biggest tip is once you take the juicer apart when you're done juicing is clean it. You know I know some of you guys might clean with a brush because you think oh, I don't want to use dish soap and you guys are hippies or whatnot. Even if you guys are hippies use your dish soap or you will get more staining. Right? The soap has surfactants that means they attract with the different ions and whatnot grime and dirt and crud and carrot carotenoids from the carrot juice put a little dish soap on the dish brush I don't recommend using a sponge you could even use one of those 3M scouring scrubbies I would only do that to the stainless I wouldn't do that to the plastic because you will scratch but I use a nice stiff nylon dish brush I got this from Ikea and just scrub the screen all the way around with dish soap and uh, running hot water on the spray function as hard as you could blast it in there inside and out right all the parts for that matter you need to scrub after each use and then if you do that you're going to keep your juicer as clean as possible so that you may not even have to do this next technique that I'll be sharing with you guys on my blender craft I get a little bit lazy and you guys can see this blender craft is actually quite getting uh, cloudy from probably all the mineral, hard water, mineral deposits and other food particles in there. I mean, this should be totally clear and it's totally not. So this can happen to the best of us despite trying to scrub my blender craft out, out after every use. So we're going to show you guys a non-toxic way to clean your juicer. And what that is, is simply is, that's with citric acid. This is actually food grade citric acid that they actually add to many foods as a preservative, like a lot of canned foods, um, bottled foods and jars. 
you know, it has been used in laundry, in cleaning, it is basically an acid. Now, you would think it's from citrus, I don't know if this one is from citrus or not, but this one is non-GMO, because citric acid can be from, like, a GMO corn. But this is approved for in organic food, so I mean, this is literally um, edible stuff. You could actually eat this, not that I would recommend you do that, you know, that people do that in small quantities for whatever reason, um, as a preservative, to preserve food. But we're going to use it for cleaning today and you know a lot of the issues is that, that the mineral deposits you're seeing in your um, carafe and on your juicer parts are basically more of an alkaline nature and if you guys know the pH chart alkaline and acid they're kind of like enemies I guess and when you put some uh, alkaline in, a, in an acid then they kind of neutralize and they'll basically fall off the screen maybe you might have to do some scrubbing with a brush a little bit later on. So that's the basic process, but let me share with you guys, you know, how to make this work in the proper dilution ratio. So the first step is you're going to need two things, citric acid and water and your juicer parts and maybe some kind of bowl to soak the parts into. And we'll show you guys how we'll be doing this here. So uh, first step is you got to boil some hot water. So we got a little tea kettle here. We're going to boil 1.7 liters of water and we're going to come back at you when we got the hot water. So now I'm ready for the next step. The water is done boiling and the next step is simply you will um, get out the citric acid. Now you want to be careful around the citric acid. It's a very strong acid. You might want to make sure you read the warning label. It could cause irritation and burns and don't get this stuff in your eyes and all that good stuff. So what you want to do next is you want to combine the hot water with room temperature water. This is about 1.7 uh, liters of water and this is maybe 1.6 so it's maybe like 3.5 liters of water and what you want to do is you want to put two tablespoons per one liter of water of the combined total so because it is 3.5 um, total liters we're going to go ahead and times that by two so we're going to go ahead and put in seven uh, tablespoons of the citric acid, very important, this goes into the, the hot water. And uh, this will bubble up a little bit, so don't be alarmed. And uh, don't just dump it in there all at once. Um, if you add it to the hot water, it dissolves a little better, and I'm not counting. <laughs> What's that? Three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so we got seven in there. Now we're just gonna give it a little stir. Now very important, what you gotta do is you gotta basically uh, dilute the water down so that the, the super hot water is not going into the juicer parts. So we're gonna take basically the water we have here and we're gonna half it. So basically we're going to combine this with this like half and half. So we have like even dilution ratio so the water is a lot cooler and not as hot. Make sure you use Pyrex safe uh, containers if you guys are doing this. Uh, maybe if you're just boiling water you could just add the boiling water like leave space in the container and just add cool water in there. So yeah, that diluted it down a bunch. Now what we're simply going to do is we're going to go ahead and take a bowl. And we're going to go ahead and take our juicer part. So this is the VSJ. I have the spout cap closed and the plug, uh, you know, is stopped up. We're just going to go ahead and put it in this bowl. And then we could go ahead and pour this water into the spout of the juicer where you would normally put the produce. If, the, if everything's working properly, a lot of the juice should basically stay inside the container without spilling out, but it looks like it is spilling out. So we may need to um, basically fill up this bowl with the water. Alright, so once we got it like this, all we get to do now is wait. We're just going to go ahead and let this sit basically overnight, and we're going to check it tomorrow and see how much cleaner it is. I think off camera I'm going to do another batch of water, and we're going to go ahead and put it in 
the blender carafe as well uh, to see how it cleans the blender carafe. So it's actually been, uh, let's see, overnight and then, then a little bit more. So I let this soak for a nice long time to see if it would work or not. And now we're going to show you guys the results. First, the blender carafe. I don't know, does that look more clear to you? I got another blender carafe here to pour out this water into. This is the citric acid water once again. We gotta pour the rest into here. Now does that look cleaner to you? Now we might need to use a little bit of soap and water so we just have dish soap and water in this little tub. And we're just basically scrubbing down the sides. And let's see if we can get some of this discoloring out. Alright, I think that helped a little bit. <laughs> Not much, still cloudy, maybe it's on the outside. Next, let's go ahead and try the juicer to see if it got that more clean and the screen. We're going to go ahead and drain all this stuff out here. Let's check the juicing screen, which is the major part that had a lot of the mineral deposits. So you guys can see all the mineral deposits still on the juicing screen. Now let's try to basically brush this off. So I'm done scrubbing and check this out guys. After scrubbing, right, it just didn't melt off alone by soaking it, but soaking and then scrubbing with some water and dish soap, the screen pretty much looks like new. I can see I probably have a little more scrubbing to do. And uh, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a different, another trick. Now I'm going to show you guys the next trick, which is use one of those uh, 3M green scrubby pads. Like, I would not use this scrubby pad on the plastic itself. But, you know, if you just want to use it on the screen and carefully just uh, go over and scrub the screen, this will be more effective at removing all the mineral deposits from the screen with soap and water after soaking. Right? Yeah, so I think definitely if you want the best non-toxic method, you want to use some citric acid, uh, soak it, and then you want to scrub it, uh, you know, with a brush or with whatever you got, like a green scrubby pad. That'll help a lot. It, it made a major uh, difference in the parts. Next, let's go ahead and take a look at this juicing bowl that I don't know if you guys remember, but this juicing bowl... And you definitely don't want to use the scrubby on the juicing bowl. You're also going to scratch the plastic. Um, the juicing bowl was definitely clouded. And uh, let's go ahead and scrub this out a little bit. And then I'll show you guys actually what it looks like. After scrubbing, check out this bowl. You guys can now see through it. Now, it doesn't look exactly like it did when it came out the box brand new. <laughs> but definitely some of the, the white crusty stuff and the mineral deposits are now off it. Especially in this, uh, this spout area, there's a lot. So just uh, scrubbing this area really helped. I think the citric acid really helped to loosen some of those deposits. Of course, you need to put in some elbow grease once you're done soaking it because the citric acid helps loosen it and the soap and the water running it under the sink and blasting water through it definitely helps out to make your juicer a lot cleaner, non-toxic. You know, I'll be continuing to look into new and more effective ways, um, you know, to clean your juicer parts to get even look better than new. Well, I don't know if that's possible but a lot better than all the mineral deposits. So at this point, I could definitely recommend using citric acid. And this was not my idea necessarily. It came from actually Nama Juicers. Um, check out my video for the Nama versus VSJ video down below. You know, so that's what they use. Now, I did also look up citric acid and plastic reactivity. And for, in general, most plastics that are used in juicers, such as the Altum, um, and the Eastman Trite material are not uh, negatively, are not significantly affected by the citric acid. It basically, they're, it's, it, it's inert, uh, you know, according to some charts and data I've seen. So I think this is an effective means to get rid of a lot of that, a lot of the mineral deposits and other deposits you may see. I'm going to have to work on this auger off camera because there's still like the turmeric uh, orange stains in there. And I'm going to scrub it off camera to see if I can get that cleaner too. But so far, so good. So I would definitely say this is the easy method I can recommend um, to clean your juicer, to get some citric acid and, uh, you know, soak your parts. Citric acid should be available um, online in bulk. That's where I actually got this stuff. I've just got a five pound uh, thing. I hope this episode it inspired you and taught you something new. And if it did, I would encourage you guys to support me and my work by making your purchase at discountjuicers.com. This allows me to continue to make these videos to educate you guys, to help you guys out, 
you know, to clean your juicer, to select the right juicer or the right vacuum blender, to teach you guys the proper ways to use your appliances to juice, to get the most yield and have the least hassle. And I love doing this. So your support allows me to continue my work. And I appreciate when you guys, uh, you know, uh, make a purchase at discountjuicers.com. Instead of going to a different big box store and supporting their global domination, you can support the small guy that's trying to help you guys out and tell you guys the truth. Because surely there's you know, very few ju videos on YouTube, if any, about how to deep clean your juicer with non-toxic ingredients like this. And I hope to make many more, uh, you know, to give you guys the best information you can so that you guys could turn your health around and get healthier by including more fruits and vegetables in your diet, by juicing, vacuum blending, and other methods, but also trying to keep your appliances clean so you don't look like a hippie. Unless, of course, you want to. <laughs> All right. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hey, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, please be sure to share this video uh, with others that are trying to deep clean their juicer. If you ever went to your friend's house and their juicer's looking nasty, send them this video so that they could, like, you could give them the hint. Like, y'all need to clean your juicer's looking nasty. I've been to some of my friend's houses where they're blender crafts looking quite gross, and they should have done this technique on it. Also, be sure to click that subscribe button right down below so you know that I'm my new and upcoming episodes that come out every five to seven days. You never know where I up or what you'll be learning on my YouTube channel. Make sure you smash the little bell so you get notified as my new videos come out. And finally, be sure to check my past episodes. The past episodes are a wealth of knowledge. Over 500 episodes at this time on this YouTube channel dedicated to sharing with you guys all the best juicers, vacuum blenders, and other products that allow you to eat more fruits and vegetables in your diet so that you guys can get healthy. So with that, my name is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Be sure to visit DiscountJuicers.com slash YouTube for special promotional offers for YouTube visitors.